Hi everyone, Gigi, Gigi Eat Celebrities here, obviously. However, I'm not in my kitchen today. I'm actually at Drenched Fitness with Julie right here. She is the creator of this high intensity interval training facilities. And Julie, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what Drenched Fitness is all about? Drenched Fitness is about a group setting where you can come and get an amazing workout in 60 minutes, get 30 minutes of high intensity interval training, cardiovascular training, as well as 30 minutes of strength training on the floor. I heard through the grapevine that Britney Spears is a big fan of Drenched. She does enjoy our workout, yes she does. There's a lot of aspects to Drenched that she probably enjoys. I think she likes the group setting, she likes the nightclub feel, the great music. Ooh, ooh, I like the nightclub <laughs> feel, I'm all about that. And the workout is quick and easy, you just get in, get out, and you're done. Get Quick on with and your day. Easy, uh, though, easy probably not. Yeah, I was about to say. We say that all you gotta do is get here and we'll take care of the rest. Oh. Well, if you can, you know, do the squats for me and yeah. lift the weights for me, then I'm so signing up. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do a little bit of the work too, but we will make it easy for you to stay motivated to mm -hmm. get through the hour. Okay, so I have a couple scenarios for you okay. so you can help us or educate us on what we can do to combat some of our trouble areas. So I know spot reducing doesn't work. However, I still have these scenarios and if you put them all together, it would help with your overall fitness. Right. Oh, uh, Julie, I have these bat wings. I literally could take flight at any moment. How do I get rid of them? How do I get rid of that? This little shaky thing, it's just not attractive. Okay. All right, so what I'm assuming you're referring to is your tricep. Yes. You wanna firm up the back of your arm. There's several different exercises you could do, but no matter what exercise you choose to use for your triceps, the one thing I would encourage people to do is pick up an appropriately heavy weight. So I'm gonna show you a great exercise for triceps that you can do without any sort of equipment, okay. except a chair maybe, oh, right? perfect. So everybody has a chair. Yeah. So we're gonna do a tricep dip. All right, so these can increase in intensity over time as well, but I'll just show you a basic tricep dip. Perfect. Remember, everything should stay strong. So your core is strong, belly button in towards your spine, hands right next to your hips, right? I'm just gonna lift off of the, of the bench, put my feet out as far as I can, okay. but put my glutes as close to the bench as possible, and I'm just gonna drop down. Second scenario. Ugh. I wish I didn't have a six pack in the fridge. I wish it was on my stomach. How can I target my stomach? That's a tough one, right? Mm -hmm. It's the, usually the last place that the, the weight you're gonna lose yeah. is gonna be in your abdominals. But I would encourage you to work your core in as many different angles and ways as possible. And again, choose exercises where you're pretty much going to failure. Basically, you like to go to failure. So failing in workout is good. Is good, I like failures in workouts. F. You get an F. <laughs> okay, well you'll show us a move right now as to what we can do for our abs. We're gonna work the muscle straight down here called your rectus abdominis mm -hmm. and your obliques, okay? okay? So, a couple different things that you can do. You can Got grab it. a ball, stability ball. I love those balls. All I'm gonna do is a plank. Now this plank, <laughs> You can actually do on the floor as well. So if you don't have this ball, don't worry about it. Okay. But it does add a level of intensity and it adds a level of instability. Now if I want to, I can push that ball away. And that's gonna make this a lot more challenging. Oh, snap. Yeah. yeah. So now if I want to work different things, I could like say, put my phone number in the ball, right? So write my Oh, you can write your phone number in the ball. That's really cool. Then I could come over here other things. Roll down and I can do a nice abdominal crunch here for 30 seconds and then go side to side for 30 seconds and maybe repeat that whole thing for five minutes. And you can also do this on the floor if you didn't Yeah, exactly. If you don't have the ball. Perfect. Just adds a level of intensity and a balance portion as well. Okay, third scenario. Mm -hmm. My butt is a pancake. IHOP has even called me and they asked if they could name a pancake after my butt. How can I make it round and taut and sexy? Okay, well the first thing I would do is make sure that you get some sort of residual from IHOP if you actually allow them right, to do that. Right, right. Gotta have that. <laughs> make a little cash off your butt. Um, then there's several exercises you could do. I would do a squat, I would do a leg extension leg curl with your feet on the ball, a lunge. That's all gonna help 
get your butt up off the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can um, work your hamstrings and your glutes. Perfect. Utilizing the ball. Perfect. And then I'll show you a more intense version where you use the TRX, okay? Ooh, so, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on down to the floor, okay? On my back. My feet are gonna be on the ground. Okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go up into what they call a bridge first. Knees are straight up into a bridge, strong abdominals, press my arms down into the floor, and all I'm simply going to do is extend my knees and flex, keeping as high in my bridge as possible, yes? So, I want to go to failure on this. It hurts when you go to failure. Pull that ball in, hold it, drop and quickly lift. Hold for one, two. Drop and quickly lift. Powerful on the way up. Powerful on the way up. Yes? I want to make this more challenging. Leg extension, leg curl. <laughs> ah. Yes? Yes. Perfect. Drop, lift. Now, you wanted to, you could add another element of intensity. My heels in the TRX, same thing. Much more challenging. My fourth scenario is, ugh, Julie, people always say I'm slumped over and depressed like Eeyore. How can I increase my posture and make it okay. look like I'm not depressed? All right, so posture is a really good one to discuss because when you have better posture and you stand up, you actually could look like you weigh probably five pounds less than I've you actually that, do yeah. if you just elongate. Part of the problem with that is your shoulders. A lot of people have a muscle imbalance in their shoulders where they're overdeveloped in their anterior lats and they don't have much muscle in their posterior lat. And pulling those shoulders back with an exercise I can show you yeah. will actually help you improve your posture. How does my posture look right now? It looks awesome. Does it really? Oh, I'm excited. Thank you. We're going to use TRX again. Okay, okay great. Let me now, move over here for you. Here's the key to this. Your movement is not going to come through your elbow. Your movement is going to come through your shoulder. So if you're doing anything like this, you need to get all the action out of your elbow and put it in your shoulder. A posterior delt is a pretty small muscle. So it's not like you're going to be able to do a lot of weight or make your feet go really far away. I'm going to do this correctly. I use a staggered stance so that if I need help with this foot, I can. Or I just move my feet back. So I'll show you both. Shoulders are down, elbows are fully extended. And now I'm just going to pull up. And my chest is going to go in the direction of that anchor. That was very unexpected. I did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> So notice the movement is not in my elbow. The movement is all in my shoulder. Again, I want to move my feet together, up, fully extended elbows. Now, you know that you're doing this wrong if you have to move from your elbow, which means your feet are in the wrong place. Watch what I mean. It's too hard for me to keep a fully extended elbow and have my feet and me more parallel with the floor. I can't do this, which is why more people find themselves doing this. Yeah. My feet are in the wrong spot. I gotta move back. Because all I'm using is the tiny little muscle here. So my fifth and final complaint scenario is, Julie, my muffin top. I could sell my muffins at a bakery. How can I get rid of those? Stop eating the muffins. <laughs> Simple as that, guys. You heard it here. No more muffins. Well, thank you so much, Julie, for all of this informative information. Where can people find more information about all of these classes? Just go online, drenchfitness.com. Perfect. We can stock you, too. Please do. Oh, well, of course, we will. <laughs> I'm a little excited now and a little nervous at the same time, but I think I need to try out Drenched. Please be nice to me, please. I'll try. <laughs> Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you learned a little something as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll have a new video next week. Bye. Bye.